Hello, welcome to this video about how to uh, fetch and calculate the second, uh, the first and the second latest of the data, uh, kind of the statistic in Power Query. So uh, this is possible. Uh, we can calculate the latest data uh, that we have using DAX code. We can use the dynamic approach to calculate first, second, third, and so on data based on that. But in some scenario, we show that uh, that actually we just want the second, uh, the first and second latest data. So for example, over here, if I just want to explain the situation, we have a um, actually data over here uh, that we have item we have start date and the price and as you can see for the each item we can have different um, uh, price and different start date so for example for the first one we have first and second for the second item we have actually three items and the for third one as you can see we have four items over here and we are just interested to fetch the second latest one so this is uh, is not a dynamic approach uh, so always in this scenario we want to fetch the first and second one and uh, if in this scenario because it's not something that calculate uh, over the time for example it's not changing to be third fourth so i'm using power query but if you are in your scenario if you need to use them uh, actually calculate this one for the uh, sometimes second, uh, sometimes first, sometimes first and second, and the other, so it's changed a lot. So I recommend to do it in DAX, but I'm going to show you that how it's possible. So this is my data, and I want two type of the output from that. So one of the output that I want from that is to be uh, something like this. So this is the uh, result from that. So as you can see here, I have uh, for item one, I have the uh, first and the second one. And for the item two also, I have the latest one and also the second latest and also for item three. So this is a one way of the result that we have over here. Another one is actually is to uh, using the uh, actually another approach to create a column for the uh, creating a column that actually shows the last date and the second last date data. So uh, here I don't show the date. So I know that I just want to know what is the last date and what is the second last date. And here I just want to kind of see the numbers for the each item here. So this is the first and this is the second last date and the other. So I'm going to show you with Power Query how you can apply this calculation back to normal okay so this is my data that i have so first of all what i'm going to do i'm first going to group the data so i'm going to create so i have some rows here for the each uh, item row number one two three so what i'm going to do first to create a table that has for the each rows of the data i get the start date and price as a as a separate table here so i'm going to actually instead of having a couple of rows for item one and item two i'm just going to have three rows but for each of them i may have a table uh, so the table has a start date and the price so first of all i'm going to do that so to doing that is very easy so just going to transform of the data and then group and i'm going to group them based on the item that i have and i'm going to create a table so i'm going to uh, kind of the operation will be applied to whole rows of the data so what i get is actually is here so it's going to group based on item number and each group has a table so as you can see here it has a table over here for the each uh, kind of for the each row so here for example for uh, item three if i just zoom it here so i have a table for item three that shows over here i need to do some action over here first the first action i need to sort the data based on the uh, actually a start date so first based on the start date i'm going to sort the data so first based on the start date in the second step after that i need to fetch the top 
two rows of that so uh, here is top two maybe you want to see the uh, uh, latest second latest and third latest so that's become top three so after i sorted i need to doing that and then after that i'm going to actually uh, do the other uh, kind of the select the price and change the data over here so first of all i need to apply all of these action on these table so what it means that that means that i need to create a column that actually these uh, steps has been applied so let's see that how i can manage it so uh, this is a good practice to apply uh, a series of action to a table that you have over here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate uh, this one and i remove the group by so back to the test so i call it test uh, practice i call it that one and here i'm going to see that if i want to apply the uh, sort the data based on start date what is the process so if i want to do that i just click here and i'm going down to sort descending over here so it gives me actually the code so i don't need to write the code for the that one but if you're interested to see the code the code is table.sort uh, actually the steps that we are and that's one so i just kind of do the ch using as a cheat sheet over here so i'm going back here back to the original data that i have i'm going to add a custom column so i'm going to add a custom column over here and this custom column is actually is uh, creating is going to sort the table uh, for the table that i have so this is a table uh, that i have located under the count one so i'm going to replace that one with a change type so in m in m language always the previous steps is actually passed for the next operation so as you can see here the previous step was change type so here i change type but i want to apply to sort everything in this table that i have and this table the name is count so i'm just going to easily just remove that name and put the count over here and uh, now i have two table i can uh, remove this one so that's a table so if you look at the table now if i'm going and show you for the previous one now you can see actually it has been sorted based on the start date so i done the sorting now i just need to write a formula to fetch the uh, actually this first Two. so i'm going to actually apply that changes so it's possible so we are going to apply uh, to fetch the first two one so again uh, i need to practice over here so to get the code you can write that but that's much easier so i'm going to keep the top two rows so that's a one and that's a formula for that again uh, the function is table dot first n the steps that we did there with a number of the rows this number can be parametized also but i don't recommend it when you have dynamic number i prefer to use when it's going to sometimes calculate second third fourth it's better to use the dax because if you pass as a parameter then it's refresh a lot of time so here i'm just back here and again do the same process that i done and uh, just put it over here and then i said sort rows oh sorry just remove the label over here okay so now i have another one just remove the previous one and call it as a again custom column so now if you look at the the other one you see that i have uh, for example for item three i just have the top two one okay so uh, but still i need to add another process over here to be look uh, the one that i showed to you 
So uh, if you remember from the uh, one that I showed to you over here, we want to have a flag that said this is the first one, this is the second one, so it's actually help us to monitor that. So uh, to do that one, I again back to the best practice, test practice here, I need to add the index column that starts from one. So again, that's a formula table dot add index, uh, 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 actually index starts from one and increase one and is the in, uh, integer number. So I'm just copy that one back to the original data and I'm going to apply this one to this table. So again, same process. I'm going to change the table over here. So uh, I put the uh, rows over here instead of that one and I get a new table I remove the previous one that actually has the index number so I can kind of have everything so now I can actually expand this table to see all of them as a one table instead of the separate table so here uh, of course I have item I don't want everything I just want these three so now I expand it so you can see that actually now I have a latest one over here so that's kind of the very easy approach to maintain that without writing code actually I just use the code that created by Power Query so that's a one uh, in some scenario maybe you actually want to see that one as this so for example you want to see it uh, as a uh, here that's a one so that means that you just want instead of having the date uh, like here so here we specify which date was that what surprise and which one is the first one which one is the second one uh, sometimes you want to just show the data as this one you want to just to set uh, that what is the last date what is the second last day item number and the price over here this is also possible with some changes that we can apply through that one so what I'm going to do actually, so here I'm going to add a, a conditional uh, column over here in the test practice because I want to copy the actually code and apply it to the other data. So I'm saying that if the item uh, is number uh, or sorry, if the index is uh, equal to one, this means is the latest date and if the because it's two we know that it is two so that's why i can write a static kind of in not in a dynamic way i said second latest date and i add it so it's actually i get something like that and after that uh, actually so i'm just going to apply that one through there you can uh, bring all of them as a one approach this is also possible but um, that's the way that I'm just going that. So I'm just going to copy that one and just make sure to remove everything about added index uh, with the, um, actually over here. Oh, let me just don't expand the one. So here I'm going to add a, uh, custom column over here and remove the added index and I think it should be okay so now in the second one you should see that and in the next practice we need to actually uh, remove the unnecessary data and pivot based on the latest data and second data to achieve that process so um, what i'm going to do i'm going to i don't need this one and i don't need this start date so i just remove these two column so that's the second step i'm going to remove index and start date so add a uh, one over here first of all i just remove this one and then add a custom column Uh, same process so I'm just going to remove that one over here uh, just doing that and then um, 
So we just have this one and uh, same the one that we have here. And the only things that we need to do is to pivot based on that. So we are going to pivot based on the custom table. So just going to the transfer and going to pivot based on the price. As you can see, that's the code that we get. So we pivot that one. And then for the latest step, we are going to add a column, create a custom column, and um, just put that one. Just re uh, make sure you remove all of the steps from here. So I just put that one. And again, I need to remove this one and add this. So now uh, is actually uh, kind of the, it's finished and uh, we can see that now we can easily expand that one. I don't need items. I just need the latest data and second latest data. So that's a different scenarios that we have. So you see that how we can use uh, the code that here to apply that. So uh, what is the main scenario that happened here is that we have the list of the items over here, number one, two, three, and the other. So for the each of them, we have one. And then uh, we can actually, for each of them, we can create a table and we have you can apply all of the steps on a table by creating a custom column so uh, if i back to the what i did actually so uh, like i add a custom column for the sorting the data then i add a custom column to uh, kind of find the first item in that table so this is all possible so just by group by and applying this so this can be a scenario for other cases that we 